Walsh did not make it. Oh, good. Didn't make welcome. it. Just, welcome. If he's not here at the beginning, he doesn't get to participate. So Jeff, close out the window. We'll press. But I do want to say we have an adult back. That's why we are all in front of you. You can hear us. <laughs> and the intro went the way Everything works. So, welcome back. I can hear you all. You. Yeah, I got to. Uh, I, I think what I need to do is not. So initially, when I tried setting this up on EVMux, I think I sent the link to Cody. But that. Oh, there he is. Hey. I thought we closed that window out. Hey. And then uh, I ended up having, uh, you can only have like one other person as, I forgot what they call it, um, an editor or something. Cool writer or something. Maybe. Contributor or something. Yeah. That's what yeah I got to I gotta take Walsh off of that and give it back to Cody. Yeah. 076 says, rest in peace, Walsh. Uh, so welcome to Live with TLD, episode 166. Why is it skip? so quiet, Zach? Did, Am I quiet? A little quiet. Did you skip 165? Is that what happened? I skipped you. <laughs> that is my mic better? I was fixing it the other day. I don't know. Uh, Jason, Joe will tell me if it's not there good. Go. He'll be like, yeah, you're fine. It's good. <laughs> it sounds horrible. And then the All of us are quiet. What about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, what about now? Audio is okay. Jason is quiet. Jay. Oh, yeah, you're at up. least y'all can hear us. J Dub, what's up? Yeah. Hey, do you what see this? You? Do you see this button down at the bottom, Jason, where it's like next to Joe's name, where it says "Push to Talk"? That's next the one. Don't the... don't press. Whatever happened last week, don't press that. I don't see that. Push to talk. I'm gonna show you. Good. Show hey, you hey, how about we not mess with it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever you do, just say. OMG, the show is actually working. Thank you, Jason. Jason Walsh, I'm the words of Trump. Uh, in the words of Trump, you're fired. I'm fired. Mm. Fired. Yes. You're fired. <laughs> fired. You're fired. Can you imagine who he fired? Uh, yeah. So Joshua says last week was fun though. Um, yeah, I I heard about it. I apologize for last week. I had a medical emergency. Everything's going good though. Shadow man, test test. Is this thing working? It was pretty awesome. No, after everything went sideways, we went to Discord, and it was like, like remember, like the '90s, where you got on like a group phone call, a group call. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was yeah, exactly yeah. like yeah. that, but you could see everybody. Hey, hey, hey! Call Crow, call Crow, get him in on this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, call Prepper. <laughs> yeah, call, get him in, get him in. And then we were watching, uh, like people would be like at work, listen to the show, and be like, hey, show me what you're working on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I What's actually his name drive like, around in a golf cart all night. Yeah. Someone might have might have caught it, but I uh, I did hop on when you guys were on Discord, and it was I was only on there for like thirty seconds because the the doctor walked into the room. Like, Get off of this! I don't know what they're talking about. You're like, How, why is twenty seven of them in Discord chat? Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, wasn't it rabbit? <laughs> yeah, uh, Josh, Josh, we got to see security work, and it was funny. It was um, funny. Yeah, rabbit posted on uh, discord that he got his golf cart stuck tried to pull it out with his truck got his truck stuck and then had <gasps> to talk to like the tow men for the apartment complex that he normally works with to like tow vehicles away who hooked him up and got him unstuck see um, rabbit if you have. had a co-pilot if you had me a co-pilot that wouldn't have happened dude we we'd have strung out a come along a snatch block we'd have been good dude We'd have been good. Shadow man, hey all, I have to work tomorrow. Twenty four oh, hour shift. Just hopped on the same. Dang. All right, Shadow man. Uh, we we appreciate one, you, brother. Yeah, be safe out there. Later, buddy. Uh, I know. Um, Jason is having a drink right now. It's a good time for us to hijack. Uh, Cody, how much did you enjoy? We can talk a lot about it post the uh, post the shoot. How much did you enjoy the one mile shooting class? I I really did enjoy that. I mean, just the just the fact that. I now kind of better understand the difference between MOA and mill and mill dot. That was a big gap for me. Yeah, one works, one sucks. Well, it was funny because yeah. we in the, in the just the car ride home, Cody was like, you know, Eric's like, so what'd you guys learn? And Cody was like, well, I, now when Walsh tells me to go one mill to the left, I know what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. Instead of the third cross from the top, nineteen dots down. Yeah. yeah it's like, into oh. the, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I was yeah. watching some of your like some of the footage turned out really good, Cody. I know you didn't get to see it as we were recording it because we kind of like we so everybody knows we we went to the class to record it while we we're there, and then I started editing things after. I shared some stuff with him as we were going, but man, like the trigger cam footage and then like the shots and everything, I thought it was, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, uh, I thought the video turned out really well. Yeah. Did you see my comment today on that? Mm-hmm. It's a gem. It's a joke. Oh. I won't. I won't say it. Go ahead, to go okay, check so it out. I know. Says, Let's cut right to the wheel of disappointment before the whole system goes down again. Oh, yeah, giving that's something right. away. That's right. Hold that's up. right. Because um, you're not. You can have my shirt if you want. I don't know. If Joe <laughs> something. No, we did. But like the, only, the, only because, only because of the circumstances. <laughs> okay, so here's what I did. I asked everybody. So, so we tried out a bunch of different companies for clothing and gear. And a bunch of stuff didn't work out. I have a, you guys all said whatever I have extra, you'd rather me give away. So I probably have five or six different sets of hats and clothes. So yeah. whenever we get to that point, I, I have we a hoodie. Have hats? I, oh, no, we I have don't yet. Today, which is kind of yeah. the same one I'm wearing today. It's just it's that's just, so awesome. I didn't like the way this one printed. It, it's not bad. It's just more of a vinyl print than like the print so it's still i'm gonna be super jealous whoever gets that one that's the one i want does that one have a flag on it too i'm not sure it does i can get closer to the mic hold on i will oh it's on me closer to the mic yeah oh hold on i'm trying to see if this one has how's it inside out because i washed it what were you doing no he put it on and couldn't get it off because it's a large no, he had to just do the, <laughs> the yeah. muscles. This one does not have. This one does not have a flag on the sleeve. The new one, uh, the new one has a flag on the sleeve. Oh, dude, yeah. Is that is that from that one link. company? The company that shall not be named. No, this is a good one. Printful. This is this is custom cat. It just didn't turn out. They they do what they do. Oh, yeah. Printful turned out really really good. Yeah, I need I need a link. I need a link. So I need to build. I'll try and do it tomorrow. I'll try and build. Um, some links to everybody you could buy stuff from, but this is just the stuff that didn't work out, and we we're trying things. And then I have um, the other the other person gets a bull armory hat, nice, and and a red. Uh, this one, this print didn't turn out how I liked it either. Uh, little honey badger guy it does it does look very vinyl-y. Yeah, it's very vinyl-y. It's not it's not how I want it. The new the the custom cat version, uh, the printful version of this is not like this. It's it's a lot more of a print, like a normal shirt. So, yeah. Michael Farley threw some wizards up there. Oh, thank Brooke you. Brooke says your he says your camera looks like it's covered in Vaseline. Well, it's just <laughs> it's I your border. This, yeah, I got this weird fuzzy. Oh, I'll turn it off. Whatever. Either way, you'll be surprised. There's a whole bunch more shirts because I ordered uh, like three or four different ones just to try them out. So there's a whole bunch more and hats and stuff. So we're gonna have some sweet stuff for multiple shows. So yeah, yeah. I do want to say that i have requested at least some of like the uh, tactical girth shirts to be not in the fitted shirt oh, yeah i need to change that i'll make walsh and i talked about that it's so, like <laughs> i order those i order those and obviously it's a I play on being a big a big boy but i'll get them <laughs> in my size and they'll be tight i'm like <laughs> I'll get them. I'll, so I do a fit. There is a more of a fitted style with those next level shirts that I normally pick. I'll do a yeah. more like a little bit more um, plain Jane shirt for it. It'll work. Regular, out. regular. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll write down some to do. Fix the stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I need to do? We need to create a running group in Discord because I created a running group for us, but the guys aren't running. So. I need motivation from Discord no, 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 no. instead of being guys. I'm running. I'm well, you never running. post your runs. You don't, you don't post it. You, yeah. you, you comment like you. Yeah. You are in there. You're like, good job. Yeah. Well, and Way I run, to like, go, Joe. Either I lift every day or run every day. So that's not. You good. go. Croak says my royalty for Gundolf and Honey Badger design work is a two X, not fitted. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See? Uh, Twelve. Not level. fitted. Yeah. Oh, and everything I have is an XL. Walsh had been fired, so he don't need a mic anymore, Jason. In the words of Gandalf, you shall not pass. Uh, <laughs> Gandalf. Yeah. I went and played I went and played pickleball the other day, Joe. What? What is pickleball? Yeah. It's like ping pong ball and tennis Pick, put together. Mixed. 
Okay, it's yeah. like tennis, but only on a smaller court. Jason, a smaller a court, you got a Josh, wiffle Josh. ball and a big or a big paddle. Josh, Josh okay, it's actually what's, fun. What's running? Is it the new manufacturer of gear? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is new. Uh, dude. I've been running for a month, and guess how much weight I've lost? I've been running. I've been running nonstop for a month. Zero. I would probably yeah, zero say pounds. none because you you're trying to gain muscle mass back. Uh, uh, you're that's a lie. Time. You know, I'm you want to know how much cartridge? How much cartilage? Cartilage? I cannot talk tonight. Cartilage. cartilage. You've lost in your knee. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <sighs> I need something Sorry. to write on to remember to do all this stuff, and I don't have anything near me. You don't have zero any, is a death. medium. Whatever. I got the computer. Zero seventy six Liberty says everything is XL. No love for us medium guys. We used uh, to have love, so yeah, we washed had, it in hot water. Uh, yeah, we had Misfit that wanted like a small one time. Remember that? I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Are you serious?" <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Serious? I was like, "Order me a small." Like, <laughs> I don't I mean, okay. can't even get a small over my head. But then, I mean, he was on our live chat one time, and it's like, "Oh yeah, he's he's a skinny boy." Um, yeah. So here's the deal: if if there are certain shirts or something you guys want, I, I'm trying to. Do, we'll talk about it amongst the team. I don't know if I'm gonna open it up. So, so that, does it come in a romper? So that anybody can order, or if it's like, if you want merch, you kind of you you come to me and I'll send you the link to whatever you're looking for. Uh, we'll talk we'll talk internally how we want to do that. Um, just let me know that if there's something specifically you want on a shirt or something you want to have, let me know and I'll I'll build it like Cody's talking about and and send you guys the links for it. But you have to what's, like it, what's your sweatshirt right now? You have a flag on it. It's yeah. Gundolf and Jimothy on the back. Yeah, then and then, then our logo on the front. Yeah, like what? Like what else do you? What else do you need in your life? Like that's perfect, <laughs> dude. I've been waiting yeah. two years for this. Yeah, let me see if I can just get the link to this one. I'll just, I'll just put it in. Uh, there. Croak says, "Some oh. of us used to be medium guys, but we evolved or grew oh. up." Yeah. That's Joe, are you in Discord? Yeah, he is. Uh, kind of. If I put a J-W link in there, says, if I put a link to the shirt in there, can you find? I it? want TLD fuzzy handcuffs. Dude, I it took me. 15 minutes to find where you guys were talking last week. I was proud I of you. You found it. You did find yeah, it. Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, hey, I'm going to throw a plug out there um, since we're talking about shirts. So I found that company. Have you guys heard of it? It's uh, Till Valhalla. Yeah. Have you heard of that yeah. company? So they do plaques, right? They do plaques for uh, our fallen. And send them to family, whether that whether that from age, right, or uh, natural causes, or in war, and they send them to the family, and they have a really cool shirt. I ordered it; like they have a really cool shirt. I think it's it's I about mental my, health, is it? My bracelet. I think so. Yeah, it's about mental health, but on the back, it it like all big. I forget what it said, but like it's something about you know working even on the hard days, and that hit yeah. me because I've been struggling to run. But then on the front, it's it's about mental health. And I'm like, oh, dude, that's perfect. 1911 so. Drew sent me a message. There he is. I missed it, Drew. I apologize. He sent me a message on Discord and said, hey, can you see me posting on YouTube? Yes, we can. Yeah, he was worried like last week. He's like, I think I was posting stuff and it wasn't showing up. Um, so, Joe, I have gi, I have uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gi from this company. I forgot, uh, I forgot the company's name, but... The gi is called, they call it soul armor. And uh, you get, did you guys know Major V? Mm, yeah. Vanderbergen? No, yeah. no. I didn't know her personally. I didn't know her. I, I, I went part of the the entire crew that took all the, everything up to the yeah. academy and set up her whole shadow box and everything. Well, shadow cabinet. So, so this company that does uh, jujitsu gis, um, once a year, they open it up for like recommendations for names of fallen. And if, if they're selected, then they print the name on the inside of the gi. So major V was selected. I nominated her selected and I got gi and it's kind of cool. Nice, it's cursed on the shoulder. It says soul armor and mm-hmm. the inside is it's names of fallen. fallen. Oh my yeah. gosh, dude. I got a goose. So that's awesome. That's uh, awesome. It's pretty cool. One of my favorite things about the Tel Valhalla project, I, I really believe in what they're trying to do, man. They they sell shirts in order to fund the plaques that they make for people. And uh, so at the end, after I created my order and stuff, um, they, it, it had a whole bunch of questions. So I really wanted to go through and answer their survey, right? And it was like, I want like 10 questions into this. Like, 
what color do you prefer? What, what type of stuff do you like? And the very last question was, if we had a plaque to deliver in your area, would you be willing to help with that? And I was absolutely like, like how, can I just, can I just sign up for that now? Can I like, can I arm wrestle somebody else for a place? <laughs> like how, how do I get number one on this list? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know. I, I really like it. So if you get looking for some workout gear or just shirts or whatever, and you're not going to buy a thin line defense, then look at that one too. Uh, 12 Bravo says, I spent $200 on Till Valhalla a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think Good for him. Send me, he sent me some links to them. I need to check Tackle them out. Jawa 15. What's up, buddy? Oh, what up, Joe? Oh, I have to call him Jawa. So I, we, we've been playing a lot of yeah. drivers together. You got to stop that. Yeah, no, I was pretty good about it today. We've been playing a lot together. So we have Joe and Jawa's name is Joe. So I'll be like, Joe, watch out. I'm throwing her whatever in. And then no, he'll like, be like, Joe, are you right? And I, I suck at this game, right? So I'm like very spaz on that game. I'm just running around shooting, throwing grenades. Like if you could imagine somebody just shooting nonstop, throwing grenades, that's me. Yeah. And it'll be like, look out to your right. And I'll be like, ah, and throw a grenade to my right. And I'll be like, what, dude? Oh, Joe. oh other Joe. Yeah, yeah. It's good. I sent uh, I sent Java a package. And at the UPS store, I wrote, instead of his name, I wrote Java. And the UPS guy was like, Java? And I was like, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a buddy of mine. He's like, that's a yeah. cool nickname. Hut? Yeah, it is a cool <laughs> nickname. It, it is a cool nickname. Is he really last short? name Hut? No, he's not. <laughs> oh, dude, I would have made up all kinds of stuff. He Maybe looks like a giant fat where, bug. Uh, Normally, he leads was, around uh, princesses uh, on a chain. <laughs> Wait, I was down at, in Gainesville for training. Close enough. Down in Gainesville for training, and we had dinner at this like soul food restaurant. And there was probably ten of us. And the lady was like, "You guys celebrating something?" I pointed the guy across from me. I was like, "Yeah, he just got out of prison." <laughs> <laughs> beat them rape charges I did, <laughs> I did that the other day so we were coming through the gate and my some co-workers were in the car behind us uh -huh. and i told the girl at the gate i was like hey can you do me a favor and she's like yeah i was like the guy in the back the driver of the car behind us it's his birthday can you sing him happy birthday and she's like anything for you sir so i drove off and then i see her singing when he pulled up, he gets back to office. He's like, bro, what was that? <laughs> that was the birthday present. Yeah, birthday, yeah. oh, man. I don't know when your like birthday is, birthday? but you're welcome. <laughs> I was like, I didn't think she was going to do it. <laughs> we had to my stepmom, right? I thought it, it would be funny. When I was in, I think, uh, middle school, maybe freshman in high school, we went out to an Applebee or whatever it was, Chili's, Outback. And, uh, I went to go to the bathroom and I told the waitress, I said, Hey, it's my mom's birthday. It wasn't my mom's birthday. And uh, so next thing you know, you know, I'm sitting at the table and like 15 minutes later, they come over singing like 10 of them with, with some, some sort of birthday treat. My stepmom stops them mid song stands up and said, which one of my son put you up to this? <laughs> they point at me. I'm doing 50 push-ups in the middle of the aisle, yeah. counting out loud to the whole restaurant. Yeah. Did y'all receive again. the treat? No, dude. I had to pay for it. Because you lied. Well, yeah, because <laughs> I lied about it. Yeah, it was not good. That's military parents for you. Hmm. Goodness. Um, let's see. Where are we? I'm. I feel like I'm. I forgot what I. Uh, what we normally have planned. We're supposed to do YouTube roundup. We're like late for that. Oh, hey, like, I can ask one question from your guys' stuff because, so you guys said, hey, we've been shooting on 10X and 12X the whole time, you know, all the way out to a mile. You guys were really focusing on that. And Jason brought that up multiple times, that competition shooter out to a thousand will use like 10X scopes and stuff like that. I, maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong, right? Fully accept that. But I do like you were talking about, Cody. I go full zoom, right? And normally I can get back on target and see the splash or hear the audible or whatever. Let me ask you this. At 10x, at 1,000 yards, do, do you think that you could PID a target with that magnification? Mm, that, that's a good question. But the, 
the reason why they teach that is to target target acquisition faster. Because if because if it's zoomed in, you right, have a right, find refine reacquiring target. Yeah, yeah. and one hundred percent agree. But, maybe, but so so somebody mentioned it in the comment, like uh, you know groups, you know okay. shooting for groups. You you zoom in. It never hurts to have more zoom, especially if you're on what first focal plane, right? Uh, that's where it doesn't change the mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so it doesn't hurt to have more zoom, but my question would be to our viewers, and we've had a couple people last week talk about distance shooting. My question would be, could you PID out to a thousand with a 10 X? Because a 10 X and a 12 X scope are a lot cheaper than a 24 or 30, 34, 32, whatever power scope. So if you guys think that you could PID a target and know if a friend or a foe, and you're engaging in, in getting hits, confirmed hits at that distance, then is the yeah. extra magnification just a waste of money? That'd be my question to both it, of you. And I think it's a, so it's a two part question because number one, I know we like to have the extra zoom also, not only for the PID, but we like to zoom backwards so we could see where the splash was. Like we had so much wind that was so variable, like it was gusting from like 10 to 25 or something nuts. So we, we'd be watching the splashes. So we really need a lot of room to see where the splashes go. But you bring up a fantastic question that I've only really brought up on the night vision side of things where it was like, Hey, how far can you actually PID someone with night vision? And, and it's a fantastic question, but you bring it up even higher. Of, and, and Jason and I had a whole thing about shot timers where we talked about the same thing that nobody's really talking about PID. Like how well, far can you ID somebody? Yeah. I think, I think there's a couple things to think about though with that. So croak croak brings up a good point. Just mm -hmm. keep in mind their PID is something large furry and with four legs. I think right. to Joe's point, if you were talking, if you were talking about a single, a single offender, someone that you're targeting by themselves, like, are you going to be able to positively ID someone at a thousand yards with a 10 X? I, I doubt it. I've never tried it, but I doubt it. But if you're talking about you need to engage uh, a whole squadron of, of bad guys, like it doesn't matter. You know, all of those people at a thousand yards are bad. So it doesn't, does it matter? You can just engage whoever. Well, right? like, I'll I'm say this. And... Of... Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say in that particular place at that magnification, I was able to read the number on the sign. Right. So that was the, that was an important part there because we were going from like 900 to 950 to a thousand mm. and it had, mm. so the nine, it would be a nine. And then the next one would be a nine with a V. So that's 950. And, and how that, big that were those numbers? So it was what, like a 20 inch, 20 probably inch plate. Yeah. probably So yeah, you know, like a, like a disc on for a tractor that like you can disc up a, a field. Uh -huh, yeah. That's what they were. That's the so size they, of the went, plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was anything anywhere from like a ten inch disc to a twenty inch disc. So and, and they the were, were on the disc. The yeah, number yeah. were on the disc. They and, were big, and they were like in in highlighter orange, right? So you could see them. And one but, thing I want you to see too is, uh, and, and maybe maybe we look at this later, but the footage of Cody shooting. He's only at, I think you were at maybe eight or nine X and he, the last shot he does where he hits the deer, like straight in the center swinger is at seven seventy, I think. And yeah. like, that's his exact view. Like that's how he sees, like, I didn't change anything. I didn't manipulate it. Like he's looking at it straight there. And you can idea yeah. pretty easily. You can see um, the swinger. Yeah. yeah. You can see so, the swinger. I mean, yeah. Could you tell <clears throat> me, me in a black shirt from somebody who wasn't me in a black shirt? Yeah. I would think no, like. But so like, so I've messed around with it a, a little bit, and correct me if you think that this is different. I think that I could tell at like ten between ten and fifteen x, I could tell uh, a younger male to a middle aged male, and I could tell that it's human. I could see color and pattern if I'm looking for a uniform, but that would be about the extent of it. Like I wouldn't be able to tell if that's Walsh or Cody. You know what I mean? Besides facial hair. Right. And, so, and, I, and I don't know if, if going all the way to 36 with the mirage and everything else, if you're going to be able to see them. It's a fantastic question. It, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good question. How far can you pay these? Sorry, Cody, go ahead. No, I was going to say in that scenario, like if it was that vital that I positively, positively identify someone, I'm going to get up closer. 
That's just my opinion. Yeah. But in, as far as this is concerned, like the hunting aspect of it, like Jason was saying, I, if, if I can stay as far away as possible and not spook the animal, yeah. then I'm going to do that. But if I'm trying yeah. to, if I'm trying to do a mission and I need to make sure it's the dude I'm looking for, yeah. I'm going to try to get clo- as close as I can. But here's here's what I also ask about PID, right? Because PID to a standing target, uh, you're looking for details, right? Mm-hmm. So I also equate that to whatever I'm doing. So whenever I'm shooting distant, I want to be prone, right? I want to be able to tell the difference. Not, not if you're in a full ghillie suit, obviously, you know, but I want to be able to tell the difference between a head and a rock. And I don't yep. think at 10x you're going to be able to tell the difference between a head and a rock. Mm. So I'm not just like PIDing like, oh, that's Cody. He's a male, age 42. You know, five foot ten. That, that's oh, not what I'm oh, talking about. It. Yeah, I'm shortcut me. I was close. I was close. <laughs> yeah. Fault. Well, we, we should like just take some photos at 10x at a thousand, and then take them at you know 25 at a thousand and, and see yeah and all fun. the way out to 30 something and yeah. and see if the mirage has an effect and put a helmet out there see if you can tell the difference between a helmet and a rock or like try to hide a person and then try to lay down like can you tell which one is the fake person and which one is the real person but mm-hmm. you know and, and croak brings up something that's interesting too he says um i'd say it's a non-issue in a self-defense situations you shouldn't be taking those shots Ex- Right, exactly. I mean, yeah. It, uh, SHTF, different story. I just think that's, I, I, I agree with him completely. I just, I get concerned over this because I think this is a tripping point for a lot of YouTubers where they're like, well, hey, in SHTF, I'm going to do this review based on being able to shoot at something in the dark at 600 yards. I'm like, dude, what, what realistic world is that where you're going to shoot at every blue blob that comes near you? Like, no. Mine, mine, yeah. mine. <laughs> Yeah, 100%, dude. 100%. So, if it moves, it, like, guess... you better, I'm going to send a warning shot and you better give me the countersign. You better know what the countersign is, <laughs> whether like... that be three three shots, like, do do, boom. Like, like come... whether it be three shots or something, you better give me the countersign, dude, because the next one is is headed to your forehead. If you, but if it's at talking... my place, I can only see 300 yards. Yeah, that's why I live in Colorado. Yard perimeter. No. So, you have too many. You have too much poison ivy around you. That's see, the problem. That's, that's good though. I, want, I don't know if you I saw that. Be... I don't know if you saw the Someone Gear Engal video, but I I, I kind of showed somebody walking. Like, hey, your your partner's not talked for an hour. Can you tell that's them at a hundred yards? I kind of shined a flashlight on myself because it's funny. It was like I would have been walking towards you. Like, hey, I'm coming. Like a warning shot comes by. Like, oh no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a counter sign. yeah. Counter sign. Counter sign. Counter three, sign. Three shots. <laughs> boom, boom. Like, Ooh, oh, you got... he's shoot, now he's shooting at us. Like, why is that the counter sign? <laughs> have have Dick Cheney do your PID and call it good. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Uh, zero seventy six Liberty. Their PID was does it have horns or not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do want to say one thing. Overall huge huge i know we talked about in the video um overall huge huge thanks to zeiss thanks yeah, for that was such decision. a cool little trip that they, they did they were probably the like you guys just saw such a small part of it of me and cody talking probably the coolest guys most down-to-earth people Cheers. um you you missed like the entire night of us just i was, like, I was geeking out on the the lodge like that lodge oh. looked beautiful inside there dude oh it was i'm like man i hope this dude honestly what i went through my mind yeah, i hope this dude that owns this lives there and he just lets people come out and shoot here. He does. Because, so yeah, that would be my dream like retirement job. Sweeney? Like Sweeney? Sweeney? I live on the lodge. Sweeney Farms? Yeah, I don't something I don't like remember. that. And, yeah, so anyway, the, the guy that owned the place came out there that night and, and talked to us for a while. Mm-hmm. Super so he, nice guy. Yeah, his wife actually like runs the little lodge. Like that's what she does. And you know, she's a ninety year old woman. She runs the That wasn't his lodge. wife. Oh okay. oh I thought it was. Okay. No, no she's anyway. been working there. Yeah, yeah. But same Lady thing. Cody. Yeah, yeah. She's like ninety something, Miss Betty. Super, yeah. super nice. Runs a lot, and then Kenny, you know, runs the range. It's just, just a huge. Yeah. It's a really cool setup. We're hoping to go out there again. Uh, I just love what they offered to us there. It, it was just a crazy opportunity. Um, wasn't a super like wasn't a super favorite of a video, which you know maybe there's whatever. Uh, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. We don't do video to be popular. No, exactly. That's we do point. video to provide the people that need the information, the information that they need. Yeah. And now so if only it. only a thousand people needed that information, so be it. So be it. Yeah. I was going to close the loop and say that that'd be a good question to bring to Kenny. Like, 
the mm-hmm. PID thing, because you know, uh, what is it? PL two goes more into the reticle and stuff like that. So maybe that'd be a good a good opportunity to bring that up. Uh, this is wow. interesting. So Doc Cipher says maybe a good judge would be if you can give a salute report with it Ooh. and what the mission is you're trying yeah. to go for with the PID in question. Croak responds with blue helmets, fair game. <laughs> I wish it was that simple. I <laughs> wish I wish the bad guys played by the rules. I yeah. wish yeah. that was a thing. Uh Zeon Zone got my Somo and Gall in. Okay. Just need to tune and take it to the range. Dude, how dumb is it that I can't remember something name that just told me 10 seconds ago, right? But I can remember salute. Yeah. That's the from, that's the reason. From forever ago, dude. Forever ago. Yeah. And you're standing there outside the chow hall memorizing it from that book. Yeah. <laughs> Size activity, location, unit time, equipment. <laughs> sir. <laughs> What's but not when you were trying Hello. to get dessert, you couldn't remember that. Good. Yeah. Job. <laughs> you try to get that piece of cake and somebody uh, yells from the snake pit. I was Tell never that dumb, me. dude. Yeah. I was never that dumb. Oh, way to go. Yeah. yeah. Airman <laughs> Joe doesn't know his salute report. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come over here. Sergeant so-and-so. Airman Joe didn't know his salute report. <laughs> and he's trying to get a piece of cake. <laughs> trying, trying to get What's that brownie cake? for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bring it to you, Sergeant. Dude, I respect? never I never got stopped at the snake pit once. Oh, I did like one time and it was I answered most like I answered most like answered the question. I did a, a reporting statement, answered the question. Someone else asked me something. I did a reporting statement, answered the question, went then someone else asked me someone, and I did another reporting statement, which I had already given. And like, oh, did you get it? Did you? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Uh, I had to do I had to do shakedown for a baby flight. That was terrible. But no, I never got stuff the stuff at the shake the snake pit. Zeon Zone. I just found out today I interned with a guy eight years ago. Now he's at my facility. Worked with him for weeks and had no idea I knew him previously. Oh, that's mm. cool. Best I'm with you. I'm with you. Best I ever met. Hey, Dude, you, you got to be careful because now they under they undercover boss all the time. Like, oh, yeah. you could be talking to the CEO or. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, um, we we have a uh, we have a sponsor. So, oh, and I, I didn't tell Walsh, but he's doing the, the ad read. So Walsh, you might want to turn off your off stage feed. These are the uh-huh, uh, let's not do that. Got Why it. did you tell him that? Get it. Today's sponsor is Javelin Concepts. They're the maker of the Ajax and the Jerk system. We've been putting out a bunch of content about it. That Jerk plate carrier, like the whole chest rig and belly band harness, is probably one of my favorites because it actually gives you a whole board you can use to sweep everything out. Instead of just being stuck with one setup, you can flip it out for different mission configurations, and everything else. So if you're looking for some gear, looking for some higher end stuff, I, I really think it's kind of in that cry tier category of things that kind of gets overshadowed a little bit. But just make sure to check out Javelin Concepts. Use discount code <laughs> VCO. They're really rebuilding their entire inventory of products. So don't be surprised to see a whole bunch more new stuff coming in the near future. And I'm hoping to see their new battle belt soon too. That looks, oh, it's actually not new. It's actually older. So hopefully we can see some of their stuff in the near future. And we do have uh, we do have a discount code. Did you say that? Yep. Discount code TLDCO. And uh, it is in the banner, the ticker the banner. below. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Um, now Q&A. Yay. And I have a couple questions. Yeah. Oh, and we'll go, in, go into Q&A. Then we'll, we'll start getting, um, while we're doing Q&A, we'll get people for the first shirt. We'll do the, the Jimothy one first. Yes, dude. The sweatshirt? Hashtag. I'll do the wheel. Cody. It's, it's an I mean, XL, though. being cut off by the ticker a little bit. Oh. Um, I'm going to do, it's an XL shirt. So hashtag Jimothy, if you want the Gundolf and Jimothy mm. sweatshirt. Thank you, 076 you, Liberty. You big boys are going to have to wait for the hat. Sorry. There you go. Um, all right. So questions for the group. I, I'm going to start with question number two, because I, I like question number one better. Oh, I think it's going to. Uh, I want to end with question number one. So question number two, which is which is our first question. Does more gun ownership actually deter crime? I think so. Mm. Right? Joe Joe's over there rocking out, not listening to anything. Oh, I'm listening. I'm just waiting my turn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Ahead. 
Oh, if I get to go, absolutely, absolutely, it does. If you have no idea, is somebody going to pop you in the face for whatever you're doing? It's going to deter people from doing it. Like, if if you look at, I won't get too political, right? But if you look right. at any of the city that are like, you can't own guns within our city. The the crime is rampant, dude, rampant. And then you look yeah. at cities that are like, the the sheriff's department come out and said. We own guns. If you're dumb enough to go into somebody's house, they are going to end you because we don't like repeat offenders down here. Like, <laughs> dude, people aren't people aren't kicking in doors. Like, they're really not. Yeah. So not only do I believe it, but statistics and facts, in my opinion, facts show it. My my only argument is: is there a is there a threshold where so many guns make it so everyone thinks that somebody else is going to do something? I, I don't think so though. Like you know, what I mean, like like when you see someone broken down the side of the road, everyone thinks everyone else is going to help, so nobody ever actually helps them. Yeah. But I think that's a different situation though. I, I'm with Joe on this. I think more the ability to defend yourself per, allows more people to be able to keep the situation under control. Josh Josh says it's almost like criminals don't follow laws, but hey, water is wet um i saw some yeah. funny youtube video it was like a short it was like it was like a spoof obviously the, is these criminals and they're trying to decide if they're going to follow the new gun laws i'm like mm, nope nope <laughs> so, not doing that saturday so, dude i got a shout a perfect... out preach joe preach i got like three shout outs on that <laughs> nice job, there's man. a perfect illustration of that and i i can find it but i'll try to describe it real quick anyway it's a it's a like a driveway and it has a little gate and it says gun control. It has an arrow pointing at it. And then it has tire tracks going around it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Let me cool. find it. Did you ever see, like, you know, it's, a, it's an old one. But somebody put a sign in their front yard that says, my neighbor doesn't believe in, like, the ability to own guns. I promise not to use my yeah. guns to protect his, his property. property. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, so if you think of that, right, and you're, you're somebody robbing a house. And these are your only two options, that house or the one pointing that they don't believe in guns. Which house are you going to rob? Yeah, that's easy. And it's a weird circular argument. Yeah, it's easy, argument. right? So yeah. it's, it's a weird circular army argument when, yeah. <laughs> when people, you know, you, they yeah. have all this gun control, they put all these laws <laughs> into place, and then there's more crime or there's still crime. So you have to have, like, you want to do something, but you don't realize that that something can be nothing. Like people want to be like, well, look, what we did something. Like, yeah. But you have to ha be cognizant and realize that your something that you did can have the impact of zero. And, and most people don't want to realize that they're like, Hey, I, we enacted gun control. Like, cool. That does nothing. Like that makes my life more annoying. Good How job. does that stop a criminal from shooting at someone? Oh, it yeah. doesn't like, exactly. There's, there's this new video and somebody will probably have seen it and correct me if I'm wrong about any of this, but I think it's in Chicago. I think it's in Chicago and this the car rolls up and like five people jump out of it and you can see like kind of guns and uh, there's a lady walking down the street. She's going to her job, um, trying to get to the train station and they jump out and they rob her, right? They take all of her stuff. They slap her around. They do all this stupid stuff and then they jump back in the car and they drive off. And she runs out into the street and trying to flag down a bus, right? But according to the city ordinance or whatever, the bus driver are not allowed to stop unless it's their designated stop. So the bus driver of public transportation doesn't stop, just keeps driving. She's trying to flag down two other cars. They don't stop. They keep driving, right? She going back to the sidewalk. She's trying to pick up her bag or whatever. This car come back around, they get out and slap, just start beating, beating her up, right? They, they came back because her phone was locked and they wanted her to unlock it. Oh, wow. Like that, that to me epitomizes being a victim, right? If yeah. she had a gun, if she knew how to use it, I, I'm going to go down in a, in a fiery grave, right? Like somebody jumps out and three people come around and, so, and I don't care how many Grenade. guns there are, we're, we're, we're going to have a gunfight. We're all going to, you know, there's going to be multiple casualty, but I'm not, I'm not going down like that. You're not getting right? my phone. That's oh, how man. it's going to go. No, Yo. dude, I don't care. I don't care. Like, the, I'm fine with it. Have you seen the movie Nobody? No. 
Oh, dude, I watched it last night. You, Nobody. You have to watch. Basically, it's this. I'm not gonna. I'm, I won't ruin this. Like this guy, this family man snaps. Like these people break into his house, and he's like, "The only money we have is in this bowl." So they just snatch the money and they leave. And then his daughter was like, "Where's my Hello Kitty bracelet or something?" He was like, "Well, wh- where was it last?" She was like, "It was in the bowl." where the cash was that the robbers took and something just mm-hmm. snaps. Like he tracks down the people and he's, he breaks their house. He's like holding a gun to their head. He's like, where's the hello kitty bracelet? Like screaming at them. <laughs> <laughs> something, something finally snapped. Yeah. Them. Dude, that, that movie sounds amazing. You, nobody. It, nobody. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's on, on my Amazon list. It's on time for, for free, but there's okay. uh, commercials or you could pay for okay. it. And no commercials. So somebody put a somebody put a comment here. Josh shots. He's got some gems tonight. And he's talking about this situation. He goes, "Joe, here's the shot timer going off. Like, just imagine that. Like, everything's going down. Like, give me your wallet. And like, you reach for something, and you just you just slice them into your waist, and then you put your arm yeah. up. Like, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Game on, dude. I forget what movie it is. Somebody croak. Okay, hey croak. What movie is this? So there was a movie back in the day. I saw it probably, I don't know, 15 years ago. I don't know how long ago. But it was based in the future. And they had the... the huh? Planet of the Apes. Uh, close. Uh, it's the based in the future. And the whole premise went, they, the cops, right? Or, or, yeah, I think cops. They have this certain martial arts. And it's to combat uh, close, close quarter combat with firearms. So it's like every time you move, like where would the next shot be placed? So then they move away from that shot. And like the opening scene in the first, is that what it is? So good. It's so good. Dude, thank you, Croak. Now that's on my list too. But that's, that's what movie. I think about, dude. That's what I think about when I see the people jump out. It's like all I have to do offline and keep firing and, and make it make it sporadic. If, if you think I'm running over here, I'm going to be over here. If you think I'm standing, I'm going to be on the ground. Like, drop to my back, backpedal, and jump fire. All I got to do is get some hits, and maybe I'll survive this. This is interesting. So 1911 Drew says, regardless of whatever law is enacted, one cannot remove the hate in a man's heart. Mm. Very true. Uh, and so, another and comment. Like, it's a good, Sorry, gun foo. What, what is gun foo? Like, kind of like with London. Like with, with um, in Europe, they're like, hey, we banned all the guns. Like, yeah, oh, now everybody's stabbing each other. Now people stabbing each other. It's like, so, okay, so now we need to ban all the knives. Like, okay, you, like, okay what's it going to be? Bricks next? Okay, people yeah. hitting each other with well, bricks. Okay, no how, how are you going to cut your carrots? Yeah. Well, and you think about it, like the, <laughs> the largest mass killings in, I think, world history, if uh, definitely, definitely U.S. history, are vehicle bombs. So, like, are we going to ban vans now? Like yeah. moving trucks? Yeah. Uh, 1911 drew another comment when John Lott did his CCW study and its effect on violent crime found that concealed carry decreased violent crime, but there was a small increase in property crime. Hmm. I, I wonder if uh, a criminal guy do something. Croak says, uh, dude, they're locking people up in the UK for harsh words. That is true. That's true. <laughs> Ban assault um, words, no free speech for you, Josh. Josh says. But I would argue that they're doing the same in the United States. You just don't know about it. Yeah. Hey, um, real quick. So, totally off topic, but I I went down a rabbit hole today on YouTube. Uh, what don't what's his name? Donut operator had a video of a cop who like power bombed i'm i'm exa- i'm over i'm exaggerating it but he like slammed his police chief on the hood of a car did you see that oh yeah yeah no, the was drunk like, driver yeah the dr- so they there was a there was a drunk driver a dwi they were dealing with and the chief somehow was there and he was drunk and he was like yelling at the patrol sergeant because the police emblem on the back of his jacket was like too faded and he was like all right chief let me let me take care of that and he was like no come here. he went to go walk away to like deal with the dwi and the chief was like, get back here, get back. He's like, I'm dealing with the D- DWI chief. And the chief went up to him, like grabbed him by the arm. And the sergeant turned around, grabbed the chief, picked him up and like slammed him on the hood on the car. And the, mm-hmm. the chief was like, you're in trouble. It's like, you put your hands on me. Yeah. <laughs> and he better not do anything to that officer. <laughs> oh, the chief, the chief was forced to retire. And the, the patrol sergeant was back at work the next day. Good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
I don't, I, I'm, you know me with the rabbit hole, right? And I, I watch a lot of First Amendment audits. Why I said that was Chile de Castro. I'm butchering the name. But uh, I forget his actual channel. If you watch First Amendment audits, you know him. I don't like his style, but he just got sentenced to 180 day in jail. <clears throat> because the cop didn't like what he said and the judge sided with the cop. It was absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Doc Cypher said, Guy thought the chief was an acorn. <laughs> hey, Rose, nurse dude. I've never seen Nurse Dude before. Welcome, yeah, welcome, Nurse Dude. dude. We, we, um, we, he said, who yeah, said okay. who said they had donuts? Right. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but if you find out, let me know. Yeah, so yeah, if I'm you have been here before, Nurse Dude, apologies. I don't recognize the name, but welcome. Yeah. Good to have you here. You're new to me, so welcome. Walsh hey, is I'm sharing a... his... Oh. Yeah, can you pull oh, yeah. that over? There's I'm not gonna... enough thingies on there. I know. I don't have so, very many people. Again, yeah. if you want to be what entered... Hashtag Jimothy? Yeah, this is the Jimothy. Yeah. yeah, this is the Jimothy sweatshirt. Dude, they're the sweatshirt. Yeah. But this it's an the... XL, so yeah, if you want to be... Oh, do you know why? Jimothy? Do you know why, Walsh? Because it doesn't have a flag on the sleeve. That's why they're only like 10 entries. Well, if you're new and don't know how to spell Jimothy, just put alligator. Anything. Yeah, no, there's alligator. alligator. I can't spell that either. Okay. Just put hashtag J. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll spin just it in put, a minute, but if this if this is all people who want to spin for it, it's a, that's like a that's a pretty good shot. Just put Jim. It's almost all OG people too. Right? Uh, just put Jim Gator. It's like our main people. Yeah. Or just spell it the way I for- tried. So. We'll Prepper it. said he had to run to the drugstore. Hopefully, yeah. everything yeah. okay. Can you, re- can you remove it now? For now, well, still there. give him a couple seconds. Please hey, scroll up. Somebody said, "Love your channel, Nurse Dude." Doc Cipher oh. said, "Love your channel, Nurse Dude." Yeah, I didn't even know Nurse Dude had a channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm. Well, now you do. <laughs> now, apparently, him and Walsh are best friends. Another, uh, no, he's just BFFs. Here, you guys just I'm just kidding. <laughs> we do forget. I'm an old person. Nurse, dude. Your favorite lib, you just gotta wash it and dry it. Are you, who typed in Th- Jimothy for Thinline Defense Co? Who's trying to win that? <laughs> uh, I typed it in to let other people know how to, how to, how to oh, enter. Oh, oh. Midwest Frank, I got you already. There you go. Michael Farley, I'm not entering because it's not my size and I don't want to take a chance <laughs> for someone that'll actually wear it. He All says, right. "Nurse dude says, howdy guys." Okay, let's hey, we're doing that. a we're doing a giveaway, nurse dude. So you have to be present to win. But if you want to win a black hoodie sweatshirt with Jimothy, oh no, Gundolf riding Jimothy on the back. Yeah, jacked up print. We don't give away good stuff. It's yeah. hard to reject. I mean, we will. We will give up. Good, we'll give away good stuff. We just have. <laughs> I said to people, "Do I throw this away? Or do I give it away?" And they're like, "Give it away." I'm like, okay, here you go. <laughs> we'll just give it away to you guys because I was gonna throw in the garbage. It's gonna become yeah. rags. Let's spin this thing. Oh, it's size dude, Zeon's own. It's an extra, extra large, not extra. I'm so su- I'm subscribing to Nurse Dude. Yeah, dude, Nurse Dude, you got a bunch of new subscribers. Yeah, look at that. Look at that Argus versus Wilcox video. Ooh, nice. he's got he's got a Huxwork suppressor. Dang. Heck yeah. Yeah, hey, he's cooler are. than us. Yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> I got pouches and belts. Yeah. Can we join your channel? <laughs> infinite, infinite pouches and, and belts. 1911 Drew. Okay, nurse dude, you have a new follower. Okay, Jason, flip over that uh, share screen. And it's way more fun if everybody gets in. Well, we'll do the. We're gonna do another one in a second. Uh, uh, uh Croak says, Jason Walsh, have any of those printed Gundolfs left? Yeah. yeah, actually, I threw one in the package that I sent to Jawa. So, if oh, Jawa, yeah. if you already have some, you have another one coming your way. I have a bunch more, so I'll uh, I'll include some of those too. I have a bunch though. I have some, but I'm not giving them to, sh- to anybody. Okay, huh, too that. bad. Sucks to suck. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Green. Uh, we Boom. didn't do the thing. Oh yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we uh, didn't. Are you gonna Are you gonna stop this and do it? I can't. That'd stop be it. hilarious. Oh, we'll do it on the That'd be show. hilarious. If you we'll, just we'll, cut we'll, to the we'll, reel we'll, of Jason, we'll it will it stop afterwards. And then we can be like, if you're this person, you oh, would have won, but we cut to Jason. <laughs> well, we messed up. <laughs> I want to see who's. I just like Dude, to see cut to Jason. Cut to Jason. Who's Hurry up. Who's what are you doing? He's gonna get jammed up right now. Cut. Cut to the wheel of disappointment video right now. Go. Oh, Josh, Josh yeah, may win this. Josh, do it now. 
Cut to the video. Or do it. Either Josh Josh wins or he gets screwed. Please, for the love of God. It's time for the wheel of disappointment. (laughs) (laughs) Cut to Jason (gasps) Bale. Oh. Dick. <laughs> oh, no. Perfect timing. Right at the end. Josh, the end. Josh. Oh, Josh, my Josh goodness. got screwed. Doc Cypher, congrats. <laughs> yeah. You got the Doc Cypher. Hey, Croak, did you want something with those what um, extra Jimothy things? I think I have I have two large and two smalls, I think. No, I have more than that. Hey, Doc Cypher, do yeah, you want you, yours with or without cat hair? Uh, no, that's not an option. Yeah, it's, well, it's, with. it's, it's with, with with cat hair. I washed it just so it didn't have cat hair on it. And I grabbed it the other day. Guess who slept on it when it was from your last week or this week? It's got cat hair on it again. I washed it again. Uh, yeah, hopefully you're not allergic. Yeah, if you are, it's. Hilarious. Dude, I don't know how people say that that rig that was. Yeah. I've, if you've ever seen a legit giveaway, that is what it looks like. Not as legit as it gets. Yeah. As much as one of them giving out at your pleasure. Okay. <laughs> Oh, just, okay, yeah, good. Uh, okay, no, I'll and I'll include um, some of these guys in there too. A little, uh, oh, sweet. Doc Cipher says, "I live in a barracks. Cat hair is sterile by comparison." <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Be like, hey, where'd you get that hoodie from? Okay, I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll throw in all kinds of a swag too. I got patches and stickers and all kinds. Of stuff. So let's remove his name. Let's okay. remove Doc. Well, why don't we? We'll do a whole new list. I know I'm going to, but I want to bring it up so we can tell people. So, what's the next? Uh, What's the next uh, giveaway item? Oh, oh sorry, no, no, not the item. What's the next uh, hashtag they're going to be putting in? Oh, we'll do. Um, uh, I guess bull because it's the bull. Ha- Remove this thing from my face for a second. Because we'll B-U- do the bull hat. B U L. Yeah. Yeah. Bull, yeah bull. Whatever. Just do hashtag anything, and then the badger. The badger. Hashtag anything. Again, this, hashtag is, anything. this is in. This is an XL. Also, front <laughs> is a badly so, printed yeah. TLD logo. You do hash. <laughs> Hashtag Walsh sucks. You get two entries. Just saying. <laughs> I'll also put you in. It could be hashtag. I made up something. Fun. If you put hashtag, I'm gonna put you in as an entry. Yeah. So Walsh sucks. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Who has the guts list, to do it? I'm. I'm gonna restart the list though. So if you if you want to be in it and you already entered, put it in again. Josh, so you be on this one. I'm in on the bowl. I still don't see Walsh sucks. The dude says this is stupid. Hashtag anything. Hashtag anything. Um, okay, I'm gonna enter this in. What's the second question? Uh, yeah. So let's go to question. I'll, I'll type these question. in. That was a good one, though. Okay. Yeah. So, has there ever been an instance of gun control that actually helped the innocent? Uh-huh. Oh. Dude, you gonna you gonna get a you gonna get us killed. No, no, it's good because he's. It's actually making us think on the other side of the aisle. Like, is there actually a situation where it helped somebody? I have to say there had to have been at least one. I just don't yeah. know of that. So I, I'll I tell you that yes. I found. I want to hear what you guys said. Say I found an example. You're not going to like it, but I found an example. Is it a red lo- a red flag thing situation? No, no, no. It's a it's a it's a a real life example. From another country, where gun control helps. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> those, those aren't even us. Those Dang it, dude! People. Josh, Josh, you gonna, you gonna get me in trouble? The security feed again. Uh, hashtag Walsh sucks. And yes, Joe who said stupid. that? Was it yeah. Michael Farley? <laughs> <laughs> You're my new favorite person. Oh, that's awesome. Michael Farley said it, and Croak said it. Hashtag Walsh sucks. Walsh sucks. Nice. And Joe and is jo- stupid. <laughs> that Joe worked, Joe? Stupid. Oh, no. You you don't get any <laughs> entries for that one. Now he's mad. Uh, penalties. What do they say in football? Like penalties when you have offset. a penalty. Offset. Offset. Yeah. Yeah. Penalties offset. Mm. Dude, hey, Josh Josh's entry is hashtag can we have the security feed again? <laughs> I don't get that. Oh, you weren't here. Yeah. So this is when we were watching uh Rabbit, the whole the whole Discord chat. We we're just watching his security feed. Yeah. He was patrolling we're around. Driving around in a golf cart. Like I want I want to be his partner. I wasn't joking yeah. earlier. Uh, yeah. Dude. Maurice Barlow, no way. Don't be a victim. 
Uh, I don't know why Nurse Dude says tracers lowering the instance of wildfires. Okay, get, so okay, so by so having laws, we can't saying, have tracers. So having a law against tracers lower the chance of having a wildfire. Okay, that's I, not one I thought of. I think that's legit. Like, I guess I don't know if that helps. Well, I guess it does help the innocent. That could, could you get your house burned down? But what happened? Like, we were shooting tracers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Josh, Josh says talking about the security feed. It was some good content. Live <laughs> PD. Watching, watching Rabbit was like live PD. We have at home. <laughs> <laughs> I love live PD. <laughs> Your favorite oh, libertarian, yeah. maybe being denied on a firearm purchase because you were served a restraining order. I don't know. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm going to go in the background check in order to buy a firearm. I, dude, I know there are a lot of false positives, but yeah. that's got to have saved people. I, I have to believe that because of that reason, right? Um, and multiple other. Or at least that's what I tell myself. Yeah. But the whole you have to wait in order to get it, I think, is absolute crap because of the same reason, right? So, uh, single mom being stalked or thinks she's being stalked goes and buys a firearm, has to wait 10 days, and two days later yeah. is killed, you know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was running. All right. <laughs> I think I built the list. We'll check it in a second. So, but Jason, what was the, what was the example you found? So there was, this is, again, I said, you guys are going to hate it. So the gun control law that was enacted in this area of Columbia, basically they were allowed, the police were allowed to stop anyone at any time for any reason to check uh-huh. them for guns. And if they had a gun, they were immediately sent to jail and crime Straight in this area, it was like crime was way high. Crime went to practically nothing. Um, but that's, you're talking about a serious invasion of privacy. Right. And, and I don't rights. believe any of it. I believe that they just fudged the number and said crime went to zero. You're absolutely, absolutely. Right. I don't believe it. But, yeah. but my point in, in sharing that was I had to dive deep to try to find an example of, of something that, that I could say, okay, yeah, maybe gun control worked in this one instance. So it's like, if you squint and you turn your head, and it's a it's a Tuesday that's sunny and sixty seven degrees outside. Like maybe gun control works. Yeah. And, and even in your example, you basically had to give away all, all your rights, all your rights. Like not only yeah. like just because of guns now, like whatever you say yeah. doesn't matter. Whatever you're at, whatever what you're cost doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter at all. You can be stopped at any point. You have no privacy. You, but you, you know who has cost. guns in Colombia? Everybody. The cartel. The cartel. Yeah. 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 Um, so Jay Fish said NYC had that. It was called Stop and Frisk. Yeah. Didn't that yeah. get overturned? It worked. No, it worked. it's called the it's Terry good. Doc. It's called the Terry Stop. Yeah, but Sorry. I thought they, I I'm going to go. I'm going to full. Uh, I'm going to go full. What do, what do you got to call me? Sovereign citizen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go full sovereign citizen tonight. <laughs> Can we make? I think that's what I need to make is it get the TLD logo. Get the get the flag on the shirt and then there you you go. Know, the sovereign I citizen change, on the change back. The ticker. No, it can't have the flag if he's a sovereign citizen. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so how about different? Yes, different it can flag. because that's a conversational piece. I don't know why, but yes, we need both. I updated the ticker for Joe. There you go, Joe. Oh, thanks. I don't, I can't see it, but okay. it says Joe, the settler agent representative. <laughs> I'm not Joe the person. I'm Joe the settler. Do yeah. people? Uh oh. See. Now he left. Oh, there we go. Uh, Zach, I'm back. Hashtag full sob sit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Be- okay. Before we get into two A, sh- let's show the um. Well, Joe, were you saying something? No, dude. I'm gonna go full oh. sovereign sovereign citizen if we keep it up. Okay. Because uh, I Farley. I believe we're at a point in our lives that the government has gone tyrannical. So we got uh, we got two A news coming up, Joe. So save your save your yeah, wrath yeah, for well, that anger. Your, yeah, you get your you get your soapbox in like sixty okay. seconds. Okay. Says so Pepper Booklet says Joe is just traveling peacefully. Okay. <laughs> I'm not driving. I'm traveling. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> Michael Farley, Joe, are you a United States citizen or are you a U.S. national? <laughs> oh, it's a good oh. question. Fantastic. Question. I don't have to show ID to drive. I'm traveling, dude. Yeah. I so on I'm a different driving. note, like oh, no yeah. joke. I wasn't prepared to go to jail today. You guys want to know how petty this is and why? Of course. 
Of course. Okay. Take so I got the wheel for a second. Yeah. Wait, so I got no. I got a jury summons. Uh -oh. Okay. And I believe it's our civic duty to sit on a jury. I Jeez, believe that in our civic jury. Yep. yep so yep. I was gonna go through with it, right? I, I wasn't gonna play all the games and whatever. So I was gonna call the number and everything and go in and sit on a jury. But they send you this card and it says on the instruction that you are to fill out the card and sign it prior to showing up for jury duty. Oh, how dare but I start you. looking at the card and it's name, date of birth, if you're married, what your occupation is, what your address is, if you've ever been arrested. Oh, All of these are in violation of my Fourth Amendment, what I um, believe to be my Fourth Amendment. I'm not a lawyer. Name. Don't quote me on it. So I'm like, no, I'm going to show up for jury duty, whatever I need oh, to do, at my civic duty. Well, that's that's up to them to decide. Show up in the yeah. mask. But I'm, I'm not filling this out. I'm not filling that card out. Then in addition to that, it says that you have to sign it. Well, if you look down where you have to sign it, it doesn't say to the, to the best of your ability, to the best of your knowledge. It says that everything on that car is true and accurate. And if it's not... It's Joe's a class gonna, two misdemeanor and you have to sign text. it. So it's that in, the... in my opinion, that's a violation of my fifth amendment. I'm going to, I don't have to perjure myself. I'm going to remain silent. I'm going to invoke my fifth amendment. Right. So I was literally going to sign, show up for jury duty with a blank card. And I was going to die on that sword. I even told my wife, Hey, I'm probably going to be arrested tomorrow. This is what's going on. This is what, this is how I feel. Um, I might be held in contempt and arrested. Now, who can compel your speech, right? And, and to my knowledge, I don't know any of this. I'm not a lawyer. But to my knowledge, a judge can compel speech. So if I'm brought in front of a judge and told that I had to answer the question, I'd verbally answer them. But I'm not writing anything down because you can't hold that against me. That's right. Right? You, you, so that's right. that was the sword I'm not going to die on. But luckily, when I called the number, my number wasn't up. Uh, so I didn't have to go in today. Uh, 19 Jew says Joe gets arrested for not filling out a prospective juror card. Dude, yeah. I, I pulled that out too. <laughs> this is my favorite because it's like, guys, I can't get Joe to do some things because he has to put down too much information. He's not going to fill out a jury card. <laughs> so <laughs> I got it twice from the parish in Louisiana, which I'm no longer a resident of Louisiana. And okay. they, on their thing, it's like, you have to you have to reply to this in a written letter, like basically why I can't perform jury duty. And I would yeah. be like, I am in the military. I am no longer a resident of the state of Louisiana. And I got yeah. hit twice. Yeah. And when I call, it's actually my sister's friend from high school. And I'm like, what do I need to do? Do I need to send in a letter? She's like, no, I'll just take your name off the list. Dude, New Mexico, you have to send that to me all the time, but they're so damn dense that I'd be like, hey, I'm active duty military. I'm living in Idaho. I, I can't do this. I can't do that. You can't live in Idaho and be a New Mexico resident. I just told you I'm active duty military. That's illegal. Yeah. All right. No, send, do you know what? Right. Send 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 the state copper up and pick me up. Yeah. Go ahead. Extradite me you, for it. You, you are ignorant and stupid. <laughs> And I'm done dealing with you. Let me talk to your supervisor. Uh, Doc Cypher says, got summed for jury duty when I was stationed in Korea. It was fun trying to tell them I wasn't paying $2,600 round trip ticket to perform yep. my civic duty. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Georgia hit me up one time and they were like, well, we'll bring it up to the judge and see if we'll remove you. Like, okay, well, either way, I'm not going to be there. So yeah, uh, good luck. Know. Let me know. Good how luck. Yeah. I Dude, know I was going to show, I wasn't going to show up at the courthouse with a blank card and be like, here you go. I think I was now what? For mine. There, I was like, I can't leave regardless, so it doesn't matter. It Pepper doesn't Bell matter Club. what they say. So yeah. great. Pepper so Club says you should dress up like George Washington, powdered wig and all. Dude, if <laughs> I we... no, what I need to do and get a Jimothy shirt and wear that. Yeah. Before we go off of this topic, though, yeah. there is a show, and I'll I'll have to find it, and I'll put it in the Discord. There is a show where. They're all actors except for this one guy, and he's on. It's a jury duty show, oh, so like mm. everybody else is actors, and this guy thinks this is real. So like they mm. eventually make him the number one juror, and then there's just all kinds of stuff going wrong. And he's like, "What the heck is?" There's an actual actor. I forget his name. He's on the show, and he's 
they he's like the only person that recognizes him. Everybody else is acting like they don't know who he is. Hmm. He but they were like, Have you seen the movie uh Sonic the Hedgehog? It's the guy hmm. in Sonic the Hedgehog. Hmm. It's the it's the actor. And everybody's like, No, I don't know what you're talking about. Zach Fett says fake as farts. <laughs> All right, hey, let's Let do this look. wheel, okay. and, we, and we'll give Joe his sub box. Okay, I already had it. I'm not. No, we got to do two A news because I need to be caught up. It's time for the wheel of disappointment. <laughs> Shuffle the whole time. Put me back. Oh, you got to put me back up on the. Oh uh, yeah, I will fix it. Hang on, dude. I can't see anything. It's okay. <coughs> there you go. I mean, you, God, you go. that was loud. Here we go. Sorry. Did we do the Will of Disappointment video? Yeah. 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 Doc Cypher, I need you to send hey. us an email to thinlinedefenseco at gmail.com or Discord with your um, address and information. By the way, that show's called Jury Duty. Blue, oh, again. Okay. Right. I would have never guessed that was the name of the Jury Duty show. Right. I think it's on Amazon. Rigged. Oh, Who's going to get it this time? Oh. Yeah, dude. No, like croak what? past zero. Croak past the. Oh, it's prepper. It's prepper, dude. It's blue, regardless, right? Yeah, it's it's, oh, it's no, prepper. No. It's blue. It's blue, regardless. You all owe me a hundred dollars, dude. We owe you hundred. Cause it's blue, dude. What do you mean it now? It's freezing. It's blue, bro. Uh, I think we're at nineteen eleven. Drew's gonna get this one. Drew got Drew. it. But guess what color that is? Hundred dollar for Joe. <laughs> Blue. Uh, and I love how nineteen eleven Drew wins the bull hat, so now he's going to get a bull twenty eleven. What he needs to get? Yeah, you, you can't wear the hat. You can't support the gear if yeah, you don't have the gun. Uh, nineteen eleven Drew, I need to get your information also. So Doc Cipher and nineteen eleven Drew, either thinlinedefenseco at gmail dot com. I know Croak Drew. They bull makes nineteen elevens. Um, Email me uh, thinlinedefenseco at gmail.com or hit us up on Discord. Me or Jason, whoever, they'll get it to me. We'll get we'll get your stuff out. We'll put some cool stuff in there. I can't okay. see any of the comments. Yeah, hey, we... night night mission seven. Uh, remove, remove, this. Rem remove this thing. There we go. Now, okay, Joe. Two A news. Two A news. It's on me. News. Oh my god. Colorado is still tyrannical and they're going the whole way of Washington, Oregon, and California, uh, which I'm not happy with. So that's moving forward, the assault weapon ban. Uh, we'll gloss over that. Face? Yeah, I can't, I'll get mad. Um, I'm about... like, no joke, no joke on a separate note. I'm coming up with a five-year plan to move out of the state. So To Nebraska? No. Where are we going to? Maybe Texas. I don't know yet. I got to start visiting um... places. Like anyway, Harrison. moving on. Did you guys know that uh, I think it's Illinois? I want to say Chicago is suing Glock. Did you guys know that? Uh, yeah, I did. I thought they were suing Sig. No, they're yeah. suing Glock over the Glock switch, which is very ironic because Glock didn't make the Glock switch. It's not even theirs. Yeah, I know, but that they're was... suing them because they said that the Glock, the base, the the back plate on the slide. Is so easy to remove to put in a Glock switch, and they haven't done anything about that, so they're That's all responsible. Pistols. Yes, it it's is. All we know that because we know guns. They don't know that, and that's what makes them look ignorant. And did you say? Hey, was, was it? Go ahead. Oh, was that, was, that... was it the the ATF's like uh, whatever he was professional witness guy that doesn't know how to take down Glocks? Is he's the one? Oh, that maybe, said that maybe. Did you guys see TV. that an ATF agent was shot? Hold on, real quick before you move oh. on. Yeah, it, with the same Chicago thing, they're also sh they're also suing Toyota because they make it because Toyota is making it too easy to break into their cars, which is increasing crime oh. and ruining their cities. So Kia. Uh, oh, it was Kia. Yeah, that's what it is. Kia. I thought it was Kia and Toyota. So no, I, it was, I was Kia like, and Hyundai. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. And I was like, I mean, that that sounds like liberal to me. Like we can't solve the problem, so we're gonna blame it on somebody else, and then we're gonna expect you to give us free money. Yeah. Well, why aren't they? I mean, if, if you can, 
like sue the cell phone companies who are allowing them to communicate. Sue, yeah, sue the sun yeah. for allowing the, the Dude, day to be bright enough to go Sue outside. Reebok because that's the shoe that they're using when they walked up to the car. Like, <laughs> let's mean... let's go let's go full with this. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Joe. Go ahead. Uh, no. Reebok. Oh, uh, what else? What else was big? Yeah. I think yeah, that. Were you that, saying I someone an ATF was... agent got shot? Yeah. Oh, uh, they did a raid, of course, at six o'clock in the morning on somebody's house, and kicked in the door. So they're they're obviously not saying much about it. Uh, but when you when you raid somebody's house at six o'clock in the morning, you know, if if I'm getting ready and somebody just kicks in my door at six o'clock in the morning, they might receive fire. So, and it's so easy for criminal to to yell police whenever they do something illegal. Yeah, you know. It, it it irritates me. So a couple no knock warrants that, irritate me. That we're in Discord. So one, uh, judge rules illegal immigrants have gun rights protected by the Second oh, yeah. Amendment. That was the other one. That was the other I one I was going to talk about. Yeah, so I, I want to know you're going to, before I go into it and get on my soapbox, I want to know your thoughts. Do you think illegal immigrants have a Second Amendment right to carry around a gun in our country? No. Do no. Do, okay, no. this is this is the core argument. Do people who are not part of our country? Okay, it's the same. This is the same argument. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do people in France have American gun rights? Right. No. Right. No. And you're here illegally. Right. right. And if they come to so America, that, do they suddenly have American gun rights? <laughs> no. I mean, and that's initially when I when I first started on when I first heard this. That's that was my initial reaction. That's the like, logical Joe. Yes. The, the settler Joe, the right says Traveler. says okay. Well, if Traveler. if they if they don't have okay, so if they don't have Second Amendment rights, then they also don't have Fourth, right? So if you're here illegally, we can kick in your door and we can search your house and do whatever we want with no warrant. So you also have don't no have a fifth. You also don't a have a, what is it? Eighth or ninth? Eighth or ninth? I'm you, now I'm going to show my right? ignorance, but but I'm like, I'm going I'm going to torture you. I'm going to torture you. But they're not like human rights, right? Like, like the rights that we have in our constitution aren't human rights. Like, they're not like no, they're like, inalienable. They're given to us by God. Well, now, do you have to be a U.S. citizen to be given rights by God? Uh, right. But if you if you're not no, I'm born then in America, then then you better you better hope no, no. that. But listen, I don't catch you America, because I'm just going to torture you before court, before trial, be, before I give you a lawyer, before I give you anything. I'm going to waterboard you and I'm going to stretch you out like you. Are. The they, medieval they went over that times. with the uh, the nine eleven uh, masterminds, like what rights that they had. They had a right to a fair trial. They had there was a whole bunch. But of but no, they don't they because they're them. they're French. They they don't have any U.S. rights. No, I'm uh, I'm saying this already happened. I know, but I'm I'm yeah, arguing against Wilson's point. Have. Yeah, no, it's, it's it. I'm definitely no lawyer. That's that's definitely. So as soon as you cross the border into America then you have all of our rights that yeah or, or do you and have i agree all of our rights before crossing in you do before you cross in if yeah. you are part of our judicial system i you think our, rights. i would love personally to have, like, someone in you should have rights like no 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 america's constitution said that my right to guns came from God. okay but let me ask you okay so let me ask you a different thing you're a u.s citizen but you get arrested in germany you yeah, expect the u.s act- to fight for you yeah, but well, if they you, don't extradite I, you, what happens? Right, but I expect Germany. that I expect the United States to extradite me, and I expect no, that my rights. Like I know, States. I I know, I know. In Germany. But yeah, but I expect it, right? Ask I expect anybody it. in jail in Russia. Exactly, I know, but I don't agree or with that. I think fixed- I think we should put the the iron fist down and say absolutely not. You're going to give them those people back. Or else or, we're going to come get them. Or like yeah. spitting chewing gum on the ground in Singapore. You'll get cane. Or They don't care. Or eating. Or eating or, or drinking steal, during Ramadan. If you steal something. If you steal drinking something, water during off. Ramadan because you're in the middle of the desert and hot. I'll tell you what. Yeah. If my guys spit in Singapore and they got caned, I will watch them get caned. <laughs> Yep. Well, Kane did different. I would just laugh. <laughs> well, if, you, if they, if they say you won't do that you. again. The dude said, it's not a citizenship issue. It's an issue of whether criminals should have guns and whether you classify illegals as illegals, as illegal if, based on the border crossing. But, 
Yes, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. We're all crom- We're all criminals. Don't even. Don't even. How many times have you sped? How many times have you rolled through a light? How many times have you have you rolled through a stop sign? We are all criminal. There's no There's way that you can violations. abide by every yeah. every law. Wait, wait, That's not okay. entering a sovereign okay. nation. <laughs> okay. Well, when I was when I was young, I, driving, I went to unlock cars traveling. and stole the stole the contents out of them. I wasn't driving. I was traveling. Into yeah, a sovereign true. nation. I, I didn't drive into a light. sovereign nation. I traveled into a sovereign yeah. nation. So yeah. I I firmly believe that our Bill of Rights are inalienable. They are given to us by God. You hear that, um, Chinaman? Yeah. Can't and it doesn't rights. matter. Doesn't matter where you live. It does you have rights because right. it, the, the Constitution says you do. Yep. I don't think we should be able to torture those people before a fair trial. We don't. Uh, because that's a human rights thing. Yeah. Right. But the entire Bill of Rights are human rights. Exactly. You have the right to self-defense. That the whole thing about self-defense is Second Amendment. Then you're an illegal. What did Joe have today? What did you have for dinner today? What did you... <laughs> I didn't have anything. <laughs> Salt. He's hungry. Salt. That's why. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, Tell me I'm wrong. Right. Okay, so you came across the border. So so let's go back to my We're previous not story. With you. Hold on. Yeah, Let's go back to my previous going. story. The lady walking on the, the sidewalk and the people rolled up with guns, right? Do you guys remember that story? Vaguely. Yeah. Can you tell me? Okay. Can't. I can't. I you want the whole thing? No. Oh, <laughs> dang it. That was sarcasm. Yeah. So I'm I'm just gonna let you know. I don't know what type of immigrant she was. I know that the, the storyline said that she was an immigrant. I don't know if it was legal or illegal, right? But I know that she was an immigrant and she was headed to her job. Joe's all and for her, for her, I think if she would have had a firearm on her, she could have defended herself against some five people. Now, whether she's here illegally or legally, I don't care because she has the right to defend herself. In what my if opinion. another country has the right to says they have the right to steal your stuff? Yeah, bring it. I have the right to keep my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Like they, they, well, bring it. Country, if another country had a constitution that said a God-given right to steal yes. other people's stuff, yep, then well, I wouldn't live there. No, 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 about but they came right. here. It's their right. It's matter. their inalienable it's right. Any okay, inalienable bring right. it. Bring it because what I about... believe in my beliefs. Right, I believe that I have the right to defend my person, property, and property and yeah, safety well, and about, life. What well, about squatters' rights? <laughs> oh, speaking of, I'm going to take us on. I don't. I don't. Which which amendment is that in the Constitution? I'm taking. I'm taking us on a tangent. Cody, Water? did you see the video on the squatters' rights? There was this guy. I think it was his mom or someone who. This lady just delivered all these this furniture to the house that they were showing or something. Weird. I don't know exactly what happened. She delivered all this furniture on accident and then wouldn't leave. And she was basically just like milling around, saying A, B, C, and D, like, "Oh, we're gonna move our stuff out." And he's trying to show the house to sell it, but he can't because this lady's living there. <laughs> so he drives down there like twelve hours waits till she leaves and then just he he makes a fake like not a fake but he gets, he gets his mom to write him a lease to say that he now lives there brings oh, yeah, all I his own that. furniture in so now he's squatting on the squatters they can't get back in because now he lives there <laughs> and it, he used squatters because like the squatters rights are more than the home homeowners it was it was fantastic yeah. sorry Joe, I, I ruined it's ridiculous. Dude, the dude says no you're take, fine let's take joe's example to the extreme hard criminal convicted murderer has the right to defend himself does he have the right to still have guns yeah, yeah. so that gets yeah, that gets into a gray area and that's no, actually no, kind of being animal. over it's an alien well that i know but if you listen <laughs> that's actually kind of getting overturned right now i don't believe all felons should give up their right to possess a no, firearm convicted, convicted murderer okay so you have you have proven that you can't own a firearm and can't but what if he live in time? society no, but he's an alien already but he served his time. Huh? He already did his time in jail. He did four. Let's say I know, he, dude. Let's say he did sixty years in jail. He's an eighty-five year old man. He wants to go shoot a rifle, mm-hmm. and we say no. I, I no. I say yes. Yeah, yes. that's an interesting one. Like, like if you serve your time, are you that, rehabilitated? If if know. they have said that this is your time in order to serve, in order to to say okay, that mm-hmm. that's your punishment for your crime. Then yes, after that, I think all of your rights should be re-implemented. But I mean, how to... how are you not human? How are how are you not yeah. afforded the same rights? But I I also believe that an eighteen year old have the same rights. So an eighteen year old not being able to own a pistol is crap to me. 
What about a fourteen? Why, 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 why do you have to be twenty one to own a pistol, and you can't own one when you're eighteen? Why can't you own it when you're twelve? I agree. There you go. You can own. Actually, technically, you can own a firearm when you're twelve, as long as it's given to you by your parents. What do we have? Another giveaway. How old do you got to be to have a muzzle loader? It's not a weapon. Um, I don't know. Oh. I don't know the answer to that. I, do, I think you can be one. <laughs> I was going to one year old like a muzzle loader. As long as you have the funds, bro. If that one year old got the funds, let's do this. It's not a. It's not a firearm. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Uh, hey, do we have another giveaway? You have a T-shirt. No, that's, that's the two we're doing tonight. Okay. I got, I, yeah. I do have multiple more. Um, I have multiple more hats. More. Multiple, yes. more. Multiple, multiple more. Multiple more. We got multiple more. That's probably not a way to say that because you're making fun of me. Multiple. I have a lot more hats oh. and shirts. We will do two more oh, yes. next week. Yeah, so I have mucho like four total. So four mucho seconds. more. You guys, <laughs> how do, why are you picking on me all of a sudden? Mucho more, mucho more stuff. Um, oh, goodies for this week. Can I can I share what videos I'm working on this week? Yeah, please. <laughs> anything, anything. anything uh, tomorrow, yeah. uh, uh, I can't remember everybody who told me about this, but when I kind of got on that kick about ambi lowers and everything else, oh, yeah, people were showing me the Griffin. Uh, mark two lower and we talked to them at shot show they were super awesome so, okay i'm moving on stuff so. so tomorrow i'm doing the griffin uh mark two lower uh it's the same one as the adm lower i get into a little bit of that i guess there was some quarrel between them at some point some lovers quarrel but uh, so i like photoshop joe's better. mask on the statue of liberty <laughs> Grunk will do it. What uh, the, and then Grunk Sunday will, do. will be the Agilite belt loadout um, because the belt review is going to be on the 29th and the release will be on the 28th. Are we still doing uh, Lev's podcast release on, on the 27th? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it'll be on Tuesday, yeah. That's a good one. I, I love talking good. to... Hey, so, the, so we pulled... We, we were pulling a bunch of the shorts out from Opus from that. Oh, cool. There were so many good ones. Like, awesome. I want to say there was probably 15 to 20 ones that were like, dude, these are, these are all gems. So really, really uh, go into that podcast. Jason brings up some really good stuff about you know, how do you deal with mental health when it's right around the corner? Yeah. Uh, like, how do you deal with product design? What are people doing differently? How are you doing it differently at, at Agilite from everybody else? But Which they're all Lev talking, right? Not Jason. Yeah. There's a little, little bit of both. Oh, well, uh, the one with Jason in it, you can cut those out. Yeah, That'll reduce it to like seven or eight. Your favorite libertarian, them. What are you doing with the muzzle loader, kid? How old are you, kid? Old enough? Mind your business. Mind, Mind your business. Know. What do you got? What do you got? A jury duty summit question there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> love, love so, hey, Josh, I watched Liz. I'm concerned for Joe. First, he's a sovereign citizen. Now this. Are we watching the downward spiral of no. Joe? No, you, you are, dude. Behind the mask. You this are. Where, this is where he's always been. Like, you I, guys are like, I promise you, you are. <laughs> this is, I promise you, you are. Like, let me get this right. The guy who does, who wears a mask all the time, doesn't talk about his address, is paranoid about everything. Like, this is the same guy. He's never changed. Yeah. He's always been the same. Yeah. You just see him behind the mask a little bit. <laughs> yeah. uh, Midwest Frank, uh, he did say, I hope the Griffin optic is good. Uh, my only my only thing I will sneak into this is I wish it was second focal plane. I think that's the biggest thing we've learned to prefer is um, For the LPVOs. optics. LPVOs being second focal plane, particularly in one to sixes and one to eights, um, because then you don't get small reticles at one X. That is one thing that um, I will I will sneak in a little bit that I wish it was second. Yep. Focal plane. I hate second focal plane unless it's an LPVO. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same. L yeah, one six one eight second focal plane. Anything else? First focal plane. This is the upward spiral of Joe. <laughs> it's all about it's all about perspective. Okay, I got a picture to share from Crow. Oh, oh, is this Statue of Liberty with my? I didn't mask realize on it. No, uh, Rabbit posted his pictures of his golf cart being stuck. Yeah, hey, that's great. not Casey Jones. That's yeah. Jason. Yeah, that's a Jason. Yeah, he said. Casey. He said Discord has Jason of Liberty. Stupid AI. Yeah, stupid AI. Yeah, Casey Jones. I'm going to share that. Like, that's going to go on Instagram today. I love this. Is Joe? You could print this off and put it on your, uh, put on your uh, car. You, do, you doing the traveling one? Yeah. <laughs> like if, Dude, if AI doesn't so know good. the difference between a Jason mask and Casey Jones, 
it's not we're, as they as fail as we think. This, like not a motor vehicle lawfully no driver's license or insurance required private not for commerce use private mode of travel traveling not a driver not for hire not a motor vehicle yes i agree with it dude <laughs> i agree with like, it dude i got the whole thing i agree with it dude how how can you how can you falsely imprison somebody stop their travel and keep them from being free because they didn't use a turn signal dude how oh, how does that work get that back up for a second because okay. I, I want everyone to know somebody took the time to draw this not only did they draw it but then they erased oh, this is the real they, thing they erased the markers of like where they had like different the lines straight lines yeah. yeah 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 that is that is fantastic you can see like yeah. in the bottom in the bottom left hand corner it looks like it says four three something <laughs> and then they erase it like no it's not i can't say that no you can't that's not legal <laughs> dude you can't get everybody have to do their own research but Oh, there's case law that says that there's so many law on the books yeah. that everybody will break laws, right? Yep. There's case law saying that. But ignorance for us civilian is not an excuse. Ignorance to law not an excuse, and you're expected to follow the laws, even though there's so many out there that will all break them. Well, like, but taxes, then I don't understand taxes. I do my best. Right. But then you got qualified immunity that says if if it hasn't been done exactly like this then how is a cop to know that this was a violation of the rights so so cops have to abide by the constitution we have to abide by a million laws ignorance is not an excuse for us but it is for law enforcement oh, I, oh, wait who is it what are they talking about um the patch you're welcome what, what uh, patch? That sovereign citizen. Point. <laughs> no, no, dude, the Statue of Liberty would be way better. No, I think th I want to. I want the tab, the Ranger tab, but it says sovereign citizen. <laughs> <laughs> now you can say it's it'll like, say traveling, not driving. Yeah, oh, that'd be <laughs> yeah. awesome. And it's a guy driving. And it's, it's, it's obviously driving. <laughs> <laughs> traveling, not driving. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, 076 Liberty says, ignorance is bliss. My metal shop teacher in high school had a sign that said, ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is ignorance. Stay in school. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty good. That's something the teacher that would note, say. Let's go around. Anything else before we wrap it up tonight? This is super exciting week between the Griffin, the Agilite loadout, the Lev podcast, and then there's going to be the we'll, – we'll, we'll talk when we, before we do the Agilite belt review, but this whole week's going to be pretty nuts. Uh, so yeah, I guess just, uh, make sure to tune in for all the stuff we're putting out, um, join in on discord, join in all the chats, join in all the fun. If you want to play some games with us, we play a lot of hell divers. I'm going to buy hell, hell divers still. Yeah. It's super fun. We play all the time. It's fun. Okay. All right. Are you ready to rage quit and break your controller? Pull a Cody. I haven't played. I've yet. only done that once and I didn't rage quit. It's the internet and the alert facility messed me up and I was Man. beating Chuck in a football mm -hmm. game. Mm. Yeah, so Jason, are you I'm are you ready to do that? It's no. Raging. It's, no it's not then don't buy it's don't buy Helldiver. It's fun. It's a good time. Why is All it right. so hard? All you're doing is shooting bugs. Yeah. Join. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Join. Drop in, bro. Strap up. Well, your favorite retain says, like the stream, fellas. Hey guys, we appreciate you being here as always. We're coming up to the end of this. Um we we went around the room already knocking the rust off tonight but we will catch you guys next thursday adios yeah. later everybody have fun <laughs>